Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Nina. Today we're going to discuss some tips and tricks to save money on prescription eyewear. Those eyeglasses and sunglasses can get quite expensive, so let's talk about some companies and ways for you to purchase eyeglasses that are a bit more affordable. So let's dive right in. All right, so maybe you've been like me where you feel robbed. <laughs> you pay a monthly premium to vision insurance company, whichever vision insurance you've chosen, and every month you give them some money, then it's time to go and see your eye doctor and you still feel gouged. Like, this has happened probably for the last five to six years where I've been paying a little bit on a vision insurance policy and every time I see the doctor, I walk out of the office blowing at least a copay to see him and at least 100 to $200, maybe even more, depending on how fancy um, eyeglass frame I want to get. Um, and that doesn't even include getting fitted for contact lenses, the price of contact lenses across the course of the year, on top of what you're already paying for your vision insurance. It's just a pain. I end up looking like this little girl here on this meme. Like, where did all my money go? So, last year I decided to drop vision insurance and take care of this on my own. And I saved so much money. Now, let me share with you how you can save that money on eyewear this year. All right, so let's jump right in. Here is a top 10 list of companies and retailers, both in-store and online, that sell eyewear. Um, Consumer Reports puts out their top 10 list each year, and this is the top 10 list from 2019. I've actually shopped at quite a few of these places, and I'd like to share with you some of my favorite ones today. The first place I'd like to share with you is Warby Parker. If you've never heard of Warby Parker, go check it out right away. Warby Parker was the first online retailer that I came across um, in 2019 shopping for eyewear. And the neat thing about Warby Parker is that they offer their home try-on where you can try five frames at home for free. So you go to the website, you pick out your five, they mail them to your house, and you can actually physically put on those five frames. This can be um, prescription eyewear frames that you're looking for or even sunglasses frames that you're looking for. But they'll send them to your house for you to try them on, take lots of pics, share on Facebook, share with your friends, get a vote on who likes which pair on you the most, and then you can make your choice after mailing back the frames. This is such a cool and unique feature that not a lot of retailers offer. So definitely check out Warby Parker if you're looking to save some money on your eyewear this year. And here's what the home try-on um, box looks like. This literally comes to your mailbox. Five frames are inside. You get to put them on. And I believe they give you like a week or two to try them out, model them around, get some compliments from your friends, and then you can mail them back. Now, there is no pressure here to buy. Like I've done the home try-on kit at least twice and decided I didn't really want to buy um, from the ones that I selected. So there is no pressure in just giving them a try. So definitely check out the home try-on kit that Warby Parker has to offer, even if you decide not to go with Warby Parker. But let's say that you do find a pair that you really love. Here's the pair that I fell in love with recently called Nash. And I got the Whiskey Tortoise print, which is super, super cute. Um, and these ended up being a total of $95. So saving a little bit of money compared to what I was paying when I had vision insurance and was actually going into an actual doctor's office to um, be fitted. But under 100 bucks is not that bad for a good pair of glasses. And I will tell you that these guys are still holding up. They do come with a case from Warby Parker, which is really nice. You have a case to store them in and keep them safe. And at a hundred bucks, it's it's not that bad. So 
I recommend Warby Parker for sure. Another really cool thing to point out about Warby Parker, um, they've been around for at least five years, maybe longer now, but one of the cool things about Warby Parker is that they're now located in lots of shopping outlets or shopping centers. We actually just had one open up here a few months ago in Jacksonville at our town center, which is pretty cool. So now they have actual stores that you can walk into and try on those glasses without ever having to feel the pressure of buying a pair right after your eye exam at your optometrist's office. So Google Warby Parker, see if there's a location close to you. If there's not, definitely try out warbyparker.com's try-on features, get that home try-on kit, and see if you can save a little bit money on your glasses. The next place to order your next pair of glasses is from iBuyDirect. They're actually an online retailer, and their URL is iBuyDirect.com, just as you see it here. They are always having really great specials like the one that you can see here. There's a variety of different codes you can use from free shipping to, you know, a certain percentage off of lenses or frames, etc., as you can see here. But they're a great online option for super affordable glasses if that's what you're looking for. One of the really cool things that I like about iBuyDirect is that they have an actual virtual try-on option for all of their glasses. So unlike Warby Parker, where they mail them to your house and you physically try them on, with iBuyDirect, you can upload a picture of yourself, much like the one you see here of me, and then each of the glass styles um, that you find, you get to try on right there in the picture. It's a really cool feature, and it's literally like a button that you click in the corner, and it puts the glasses on you right there so you can see what they look like. Another really cool feature that I like about iBuyDirect that also helps you save some additional money if you're trying to you know, walk right out saving money, getting a basic pair of glasses, is this feature here where you can select the prescription, the lens type, and the lens options for your glasses. This is a great way to either add on a few things, spend a little more money and get that perfect pair of longer lasting glasses that you want, or cut a few corners and get just a basic clear lens and walk out the door saving a ton of money. So this is something I really like with iBuyDirect. Um, you can see here the different lens types. You can choose a basic clear lens or they have the blue light blocking option, which is really great if you sit in front of a computer or do a lot of work in front of a tablet or a screen all day. They also have the options to turn your glasses into sunglasses where they tint or coat the actual lenses, making a great option if you want some prescription sun glasses. And the last piece that I personally have tried and really enjoy is the light adjusting feature. So this would make your lenses actually darken when they're exposed to outside light and then turn clear when you come inside. This is really cool. They have many options. If you click on the light adjusting, you can get a basic transitions type lens, which is a little more expensive, or they have an affordable option that doesn't do as great of a job in my opinion, but it'll still give you um, that darkening effect of the lenses when you go outside, which is great on your eyes. Um, I live in Florida though, so I really think I would need like the hardcore darkening transition lenses um, because the cheaper option just doesn't really cut it for me. But I like that that's an option. I like that there's lots of choices here and you can choose to spend as much as you want or save some money. Here's another cool feature that they have at iBuyDirect where you can choose to upgrade your lenses. I have really terrible eyes, so I always take up this option here and go to the premium or more popular lenses just because my prescription is so bad that, you know, if I do um, a more standard lens, I sometimes get that really thick glasses look. Um, it makes my eyes look a different size than the rest of my head, which is just weird. So I like that there's an option here to pick between the premium or the standard lenses. And there's even an option to customize where you can pick the coating and the preferred lens index that fits you. 
here were the styles that I actually went with. You can see I picked the first style on the left, which is nice and sleek. I love wearing these glasses to work. Um, the frames here were actually a little more expensive. They were $35, but I went with just your basic lens, um, basic coating here, and walked out of the door spending less than 50 bucks on a pair of glasses. Now, the pair that you see here on the right, I wanted to try out those light adjusting um, lenses. So I went with the cheaper light adjusting lens option on a very cheap frame, which was only $9. And again, I walked out spending less than 50 bucks on a pair of what I would call transitioning lenses over here. Definitely not as great as the actual name brand transitions lenses, but definitely gets the job done. And I got two pair of glasses for the same price of the one pair I got at Warby Parker, which in my opinion, is a steal. So I buy direct. Check it out if you're looking for affordable glasses or sunglasses. And the last option that I'd recommend for ordering eyewear is through Zenny Optical. And you can find Zenny Optical online at zennyoptical.com. As you can see here, they're running a special as well in the new year. Get you some new frames. The thing I like about Zenny Optical is they're super, super affordable and not bad quality for the glasses that you'll find on there. Here's a screenshot straight from their website of a variety of different lenses that you can choose from. Much like the other two guys I mentioned, they offer both eyewear, just typical glasses, and sunwear, sunglasses. Um, and the great thing about Zenny Optical is, just like you can see here, the cheapest frame starts at $6.95. Wow, that is so great. I don't know how many times you guys have looked in your, your eye doctor's office, but I can't find a frame under a dollar or under $100. And then you have to add on the lenses. And if you have special coating, that price on top of it. I mean, that just, I mean, the total just goes up, up, up. Here with Zenny Optical, you could choose a very cheap and affordable frame that's of decent quality, and then go high-end on your lenses and your coatings or what other features that you want. And that's something that I love. I want a good set of sturdy glasses that's going to get the job done and help me get through my day without breaking the bank. So those are my top three choices for saving money on eyewear, but I wanted to leave you with just some general rules as I head out today. You know, Wherever you decide to order your glasses from, keep in mind that all you need is a prescription from your eye doctor. The eye doctor should be handing that prescription over to you right after you have an eye exam. There should be no need to sign paper or waivers or something in exchange. You pay for the service of an eye exam, you get the actual prescription. And one thing that's important to note there is then you can order your glasses from wherever you want. You can use one of the three options that I've recommended, or you can take that same prescription to, say, Costco Optical or any of the other places that you saw on the list to actually go and get the eyeglasses that you want. Okay? Um, and again, choose the method that's easiest and most comfortable for you. I'm a working professional. I don't have much time. I like the convenience of ordering glasses or sunglasses directly from an online retailer and the options with the virtual try-on like I buy direct or the actual mail to your house and try on in person option that you get at Warby Parker just makes that whole process much easier and more tailored and fitted to your needs. So choose the option that's easiest and most comfortable for you. And step three, Sit back and enjoy that extra money in your pocket because you're going to save so much more money ordering your eyeglasses this way. Oh, and there's one more thing to mention. Got this from gogglesforyou.com. If you get your prescription from your doctor and you notice that they did not mark anything under the box that says PD, Okay, PD stands for pupillary distance. And basically that is the distance from one pupil to the next. And that's really important for sizing your eyeglasses so that they fit you. So if you notice that your eye doctor failed to, to take that measurement 
and put it on your sheet while you're there on your prescription. Stop them and say, hey, can you add that to my prescription just so I know? But if you're like me and you're in a hurry and you're rushing to get in and rushing to get out, sometimes you'll end up with a prescription and not too sure what your PD measurement is. Well, that's okay. Goggles for You did it for you, giving you this quick list of how to measure your own pupillary distance to help you when you place that order. Um, so take a look here, have a friend help you out. You can still get that PD measurement without having to go back to your eye doctor. That's it, guys. This has been another fun YouTube video, couponing with Nina, talking about tips and tricks for saving money on eyewear. Comment below with a picture of your favorite affordable pair of eyeglasses. Let me know where you got them, how much money you saved, and where you're going to order from next. If you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, don't forget to like and comment below. Please subscribe. Lots of new videos come out weekly on how to save money, whether it's couponing at our favorite stores or tips and tricks for saving money on eyewear, prescriptions, all of those other things to keep our household flowing and our money's in our pockets. Please subscribe and comment below. I look forward to sharing another week of tips and tricks and money-saving deals with you soon. Have a great week, y'all.